Hi, my Hello. name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of this book called Toxic Health. And we're going to look into one of the subjects that Toxic Health talks about, and it is the electromagnetic fields generated by appliances such as these. And this is a standard hairdresser's hairdryer that you may find in your home or at the hairdresser's shop. Uh, it's very interesting because it actually generates quite a wide range of electrical fields around it and we're going to look into those fields. And the first thing we're going to use to look into what's going on with the hairdryer is the oscilloscope. And we're going to connect into the oscilloscope through the tip of my finger and we have a ground connection out to a non-electrified ground rod in my back garden. And as you can see there's a field on my body that comes from being near the cables and that field increases the closer I get to the cables. So that's a voltage field that's being induced onto my body. And we're set to 500 millivolts per division in the vertical direction. So as you can see that the voltage field actually goes off the display. So that gives us about 4 volts peak to peak on the body at that current level. So let's see what happens when we pick it up and we actually switch it on. So as you can see, it produces a wide range of electrical voltage fields on the body that go up and down depending on the settings that it's switched on to. So the next item we're going to use is going to be a standard AM radio. And this is tuned into 530 on the AM band where there are no radio stations in my area. So we're tuned into static. You can be tuned into anywhere on the AM band because what we're detecting is wide band radio waves coming out of the hairdryer. So I'm going to switch it on. You're going to hear some noise. And this may not come over well on the camera because of the noise of the hairdryer. But uh, I will tell you what's going on with the radio. So that noise that we can hear is the oscilloscope. So we're going to have to do the test over here to get out of the range of the radio waves that come out of the oscilloscope. So we have a, perhaps a one foot field coming out of the hairdryer. And that's a much higher pitched field. So as we can see, we have about a one foot field and the field actually not only is in the hairdryer body itself and the handle, it actually also goes down the electrical cable. So the last meter that we've got is called a tri-field meter. That's this meter right here. And it has a number of settings and we're going to take measurements on magnetic in the 0 to 100 range the electric field and the microwave and radio fields and let's see what comes out of this when we switch it on. So we're going to start off with the magnetic in the 0 to 100 range. As you can see right now it doesn't actually produce anything. But all that changes when we switch it on. So as we can see, we're off the scale in magnetic. So let's switch over to electric field and see what happens.
So we've got a wide range of electric fields around the hairdryer. And the last setting is radio and microwave. So let's see what happens. So the track field doesn't actually pick up anything on the radio or the microwave scale. But as we saw, uh, the AM radio does actually pick up on radio fields coming out of the hairdryer. So there you have it. Electric hairdryers do actually produce uh, fields around them. And those electromagnetic fields can be quite large and quite powerful. That's something to be aware of if you work with this type of equipment day in and day out. You know, if you're a hairdresser, you might be constantly working with this type of equipment. You should pay attention to your health, and if you see any health problems occurring, you should maybe take a look at your equipment that you use and uh, maybe have it examined by an engineer who can do these tests and establish the fields that are around the various pieces of equipment that you use. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.